Hey guys, so a quick random video for you. Keeping the daily uploads going. I wanted to share with you how I take a bath. <laughs> now I know this like, okay, not exactly how I take a bath. Like taking a bath is pretty straightforward and easy. It's pretty simple. You could just fill a bathtub like this one with some water. Okay. That's all it takes. It's not God knows what rocket science, but um, basically I'm gonna show you my routine. I do this once every two weeks and it takes me a while to set up and do everything. So the first thing I do when I walk in the bathroom and I like a traditional bathtub. It's more comfortable than like a garden bath. I don't know why, but I move this curtain all the way. And the trick is usually curtains are next to the toilet. That's how most bathrooms are designed. So what I do is I grab the entirety of the curtain, this and this, I tuck it behind the toilet, okay? Cause it's like this close to the wall and it's just enough to like tuck it to move it out of the way. Cause you need to tuck your curtain somewhere and it gets out of the way of the candles when you light it so you don't catch on fire, okay? Remove all your bath products, okay? Everything, the sponges, I just remove everything. I want it totally blank. I don't want nothing falling on me. The shower head is secure up there. Now I'm not gonna take a bath today, sometime next week. I usually do it on like a weekend, but um, then you want to wet a sponge, clean it out, okay? Get some Lysol, I know it's probably hard to find nowadays, but here it is. Spray the entirety of the tub and scrub, scrub, scrub a dub, okay? And you wanna clean it pretty good. You want it to foam, okay? Most people spray Lysol and wait for it to dry and then you have the option of not even rinsing it off, using it as disinfectant. And most people don't know that, like if you actually spray this, and just wait for it to dry. You don't technically need to rinse it because it acts as a disinfectant. Like with a disinfectant wipe, you kind of just wipe and just it dries on its own and evaporates. Um, but with this, uh, I recommend you rinse it off with water because you, you are literally like, those germs will sit there and just collect and they're like dead germs. So you don't want to like bathe in that swell. So. Don't be nasty, just <laughs> scrub, 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 and rinse, okay? And wipe all around where you made a mess. You know, sometimes I accidentally almost slip and fall on these tiles get slippery, so just be careful, okay? Set a towel under, make sure you don't slip when you get out of the bathtub, okay? No electronics nearby except for a waterproof phone that is not plugged in, okay? Um, make sure you get like waterproof. Headphones as well. Never ever plug in electronics while using a bath. So, so bad, okay? People make that mistake all the time. Um, and I used to do that, like, because I used to not care. <laughs> like, I'd realize, oh, I forgot to charge my phone. Well, let me charge it while I'm in the bath. And then like, I would connect headphones at the same time and just sit there, like, not even move and pray nothing falls. <laughs> Don't be silly. I mean, I used an extension cord and I moved it far, so it's still safe, but the fact that something was connected to something that was connected to the wall outlet in a water, no. Like while you're in water, I mean, you know, be wise with that. Uh, then you get some tea lights. So these are some of my last old ones. All right, so I get like three or four and I put them like where the bath products are and the shelves there around here. And it just creates enough light, not too much light. I don't like a lot of light when I'm in the bathtub because it's not relaxing. You know, I turn off all the lights, I turn off the fan once I'm done ventilating, you know, when you fill it with hot water. I like it pretty hot to where it's almost unbearable. Here's why, so that, because the water actually, when you're in there, when you're sitting in it, it's like a hot tub, like you get used to it after a while. So this is not a hot tub on top of that. This, after half an hour, it starts to get cold. Like. So you really gotta like jack up the heat to make sure it doesn't get cold so you can enjoy it for the entire hour. And most people say, take a bath between 15 and 20 minutes, no more, no less. 
I think that's too short. I like to pop in headphones, listen to relaxing music and just enjoy. You have a whole hour. I mean, it goes very quick, okay? And I've been to spas before. I know like an hour goes quick, like especially when you're in those pods. 45 minutes, an hour, 50 minutes is so fast. It just like you wish it was longer. So make sure you have your lighter here handy with the tea light. Make sure you prepare everything before you actually step in because so many times I like forget that one thing like water, like you need some bottles of water and I like to put them in the freezer in the fridge. Make sure they're super cold. Sometimes I get uh, seltzer water. Sometimes I get iced soda. I used to have like wine in there as well, like chilled wine, but I don't drink anymore. So, um, you know, you do you, you can have a fruit punch or fruit juice in there, you know, just like to just luxuriate and enjoy. And I like to put the drinks right there where that it, where this, is. uh, this thing is. Yeah. This thing. <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah, this thing right there. Uh, and it's just the perfect spot. Cause you're just like your arms there anyway, and you're just reaching grab for a drink. It's so easy and simple. So when you're done with all of that, you might want to like put a suction. This is not, I used to have like a suction thing that actually goes against this wall. You put it in the back of your head and a little pillow. This you can microwave and it heats up. So I'm just giving you some ideas. This video is for you guys who maybe you deserve it. It's been a tough year, you know. Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. It's only January. I'm worried I said that because I am kind of psychic. Anyway. And I keep saying that, I have to stop saying that. But yeah, anyway, my point being is uh, you get this pillow and ooh, I haven't used it in a while, but you can microwave it and it heats up and it uh, stays warm, but not as long as I would like, if I'm honest with you. You can microwave it or you can just put it in hot water, which I usually warm it up with hot water and it just, it, it gets hot in there anyway, that you just kind of leave it in your neck. It's like, ooh, it's very nice massage beads. Or you can ice it and freeze it and it's cold. And, you can even have two of those, one that's hot, one that's cold, right? Like you can keep one in a container nearby so that it's like in ice and then one in like a container of hot water and then it gets hot and you have it ready and you switch it off every 10, 15 minutes while you're in the tub. Perfect idea, okay? Make sure you're hydrated. You drink at least two bottles of water through your whole hour session, all right? <laughs> um, because so many times I made the mistake of not and then I have a pounding headache, I can't sleep after. Like my temples are bulging out of my forehead from all the sweat and evaporation and steam. And you get, you like your skin gets so moisturized, but dry at the same time when you come out and you get pale. Some people even faint. I always hold on to this when I get out and it's secure. It's one of those that you twist and it's on the wall. Okay, make sure it's secure. I have a holding and a footing of everything. I grab onto this wall. I grab and grab the curtain a little bit. I just make sure I have like a secure, steady stronghold. My feet are firmly planted on the towel when I leave. So many people, unfortunately, accidentally, you know, the, the bathtub they say is one of the most dangerous places, like, you know, whether it's electronics or with an accidental um, slip up. Uh, so yeah, just be very mindful of that. Um, baking soda. I like using this because um, like if you have like an itch or a scratch or dryness to your skin, it does something with the water mixture. It takes care of that for you. Okay. I don't know what it is, but that's why I add that in there. And it's also usually in bath bombs and bath products in general. So there, there's something about it that cleans as well. Okay. Uh, and whitens. Um, salt. I like traditional like old sea salt, okay? This is not coarse, this is fine salt, but I prefer coarse. I want it to melt in there. Uh, I, I want a natural sea salt. I don't just toss in Himalayan salt. I don't just toss in Morton salt or any other old packages of salt. And I put a lot, okay? Baking soda, you wanna put about a cup, cup and a half salt, cup, cup and a half. You can also try it with Morton salt. It just muscle relaxing, easing tensions, especially when you have a sinuses or illness here in the lungs and chest. I just like breathing deeply in all of that. And um, I also add oil. And the reason I add oil is not only to moisturize my skin, um, but also it mixes and uh, compounds chemically well with the essential oil. And it allows these products to combine and uh, formulate together to um, not be irritating on the skin. Because like before I used to just put like water and essential oil and the salt and baking soda, or sometimes just salt. And my skin would have like redness when I come out. 
and burning uh, stinging feeling because the essential oil in itself does not merge with water. You need an oil component to allow it to be moisturizable, like for it to soak into your skin. So make sure you do that. I put 10 to 20 drops of essential oil, uh, any kind of like real essential oil that's scented, uh, that smells good. I like this one, it's kind of minty. And again, for the lungs, for the breath. And so, yeah, that's basically how I do my bath. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> never made an explanation of that before. And it was quite in depth even for just 10 minutes. So I hope that kind of helped you clarify, maybe improve your bath experience. I used to even put like real, like fresh peeled rose petals in there, flowers, like floral things in there, just to kind of like, I used to even like chop and squeeze in lemons and citrus, like orange and um, tangerine, grapefruit, like to really spice it up. And there's different themes, like make sure if you're gonna put citrus, put a citrus essential oil. If you're gonna put forest, put foresty things like chop up some mints and make yourself like a little fancy hot soup. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, enjoy your safe bath, okay? Remember what I said. And if you need to ventilate, because it does sometimes get really hot, especially if it's a small bathroom, this is a pretty big bathroom, so I never have problems with it. But before I used to do this in like the apartment days, and the ba that bathroom was like a third of the size of this bathroom, no joke. And I would, I'm exaggerating, a half, maybe half, a little less than half. And I swear I'd get so claustrophobic in there, like the steam would have literally nowhere to go, okay? And so I would have to like always crack open the door a little. I hated doing that because it made the, the air conditioner was always on because it was like second floor always had. So it depends where you live. The air conditioner also contributes, but make sure you have it running and don't just turn it off because like, even if it cools your water faster, like you need to breathe the rain, right? it's ventilation circulation. Like I almost passed out one time basically is what I'm trying to say. So I had to crack open the door. So make sure you figure that out. If you have a generally large bathroom, you're fine, especially if it's tiled. But if it's like carpeted and small or even wood floor, I notice it gets really like steamy and it also begins to damage your bathroom as a whole after a while like if you have wood cabinets or you know um certain walls i guess everything just gets so moisture and it's like your bathroom is not meant to be a tropical forest jungle okay so just make sure you ventilate even if it's loud in the fan maybe pop some music if it's annoying but yeah if you have a large space then you should be just fine so anyway guys thank you for joining me i hope that helped and i will see you in the next vlog bye guys <laughs>